Let's continue with setting up our V-Ray options. But first let's check our previous image we rendered before we left off in the last lesson. You can do that by simply clicking on the show V-Ray frame buffer. And as you can see, this is the image we left off with our basic default settings. So as you can see, it's a little dark and it doesn't have a lot of contrast. So we're going to try to uh, improve these settings in this lesson. So let's click on our options menu, also from the V-Ray toolbar. And let's go to uh, our preset, because first we're going to load a low preset, so it doesn't take that long to render if you want to test render our image. So simply go to choose category and choose exterior. And from the exterior presets, simply choose the low quality exterior. And if you're done, click the OK button. Nice. So now this uh, template is loaded. So now let's go to our camera settings. And in the middle it says physical camera. That's the field we want to change. And the only setting we're going to change is the ISO, which is standardly set to 100. But we want to set it to, we want to crank up this number so the image becomes a little bit more bright. In real life, this would actually uh, reduce the quality of the image a little bit. Luckily with Fear, this is not the case. So we can safely crank up this number without quality loss. So let's set this number to 300. Another thing we want to change is turn off our vignetting. If this was not uh, turned on, turned off already. Uh, vignetting means that the sides of the image uh, are less bright or less saturated than the, than the center of the image which means that it, if you want to make your image pop, uh, you, you want to switch this uh, setting on. But we don't want this, so let's switch it off. And Exposure, you want to turn this one on. Nice. So let's close this window. And let's make a test render by simply hitting the R. Nice. So the image already, as you can see, became way more bright. So that's, that's nice. But the only thing that's missing is the contrast. So there's another option we, we can use to improve the contrast of the image a little bit. So let's close our uh, frame buffer window. And let's go back to options. There's an option called ambient occlusion, which allows you to highlight the edges of geometry and add more contrast. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, this option is located under the Indirect Illumination tab. And it's right here. So the only thing we need to do is check the tick box that says on. And let's increase the radius a little bit. To 50. The amount means how much uh, ambient occlusion you, you want. The sub D stands for the quality and the radius is how far it, it reaches. So with these settings, it should, it should work. So let's do a test runner. Great. So as you can see, our image is way more, has way more contrast and that's exactly what we want. So what we can do, uh, just to show the difference, is that I'm going to render the half the image again, but without ambient occlusion, so you can see the difference. So let's close this window again. Let's go to our options and simply uh, switch ambient occlusion off by unchecking the checkbox. Now before I hit the render button again, there's another trick uh, we can do to just render part of the image. Uh, we can do this by going to the frame buffer and this option is called Region Render. And if you select this option, you can select an, uh, a region in your image that you, want to have, that you want to use for rendering. So let's select a little bit smaller. Let's select this area here. And when you're, when you're done, simply hit the Render button. And now it will only render that half of the image. This is really nice for comparing images with each other to see if, if a setting you used, if it had effect or not. And as you can see, the right side is way more bright uh, than the left side because the left side has the ambient occlusion and that's the one uh, we want to use in the end. 
So let's go back to our options menu and let's set the final settings for our ambient occlusion. So let's switch it on again. And let's use 0.4 to have a little bit less ambient occlusion because 0.8 is a little is a lot. Let's crank up the subdivisions to 12. And let's leave the radius at 50. I think that's fine. Nice. So next lesson, we're going to set up our basic materials we're going to use for our model.